the height of the Tuesday morning commute, nine peaceful traffic blocking protesters were lying in the middle of 2nd Avenue in front of a building that holds the offices of Immigration and Customs Enforcement, the federal agency known as ICE. We don't want ICE in our, in our city, we don't want them in the state. We want ICE to disappear, they need to be abolished. We would call this the disrupt the morning commute tactic. Sergeant Sean Wickham refers to two recent similar demonstrations. During peak commute hours, a march protest against the youth jail that blocked traffic for six hours, and a five-hour protest against Chase Bank last month with tarpies down 2nd Avenue. But for today's display of dissonance, SPD stepped in after an hour and a half. Yeah, we have absolutely evolved our tactics and a response to these sorts of demonstrations in much the same way that people who are protesting have evolved theirs. Seattle police deployed an apparatus removal team to break up the so-called sleeping dragon, cutting through chicken wire and duct tape, even using a saw to cut through PVC piping, yeah. hauling the anti-ice activists to jail. Their spokesperson and undocumented mother going through deportation hearings explains why it's all worth it. Yes, we don't have money. We are poor people. We only have our bodies. That's all we got. To think about the thousands of families whose, whose lives are being destroyed because of this agency. Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News. Now, a spokesperson for ICE confirms it has offices in that building, but they house special investigation units like human and drug trafficking, as well as child exploitation.